It's the cross from Pigeon Park. Get a Even though we can't get any pigeons in here right now, there are usually loads in, in the vicinity. So we're going to go in, so come with us guys. We've actually got a table book, but this is the menu. And if you like a bit of this. Yeah, and great like a bit of food offers if you're strapped for cash but still want to, you know, do as we do. So guys, we've been actually yeah. now ordered our cocktails I'm having the... If, I'm gonna, I was going to try and remember, but I won't. I'm having the strawberry and vinegar mask. Wow. I've been here already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Mint and lemon. Nice. So, I'm about to try my cocktail. That's really nice. It's gorgeous. Yeah, really nice. Thank you. really tasty. Mm. Okay guys, so we're about to eat, so I'll see you on the flip side. So guys, we've just finished our starters. Mine was delicious. It, oh, it's so creamy. Mine was sensational too. I actually Very tried some of her salmon and it was delicious. I thought like it looked a bit big for a starter, but it was tasty. It was, oh, and she tried some of my mushrooms. I'd eat that again. Like, I'd have fun with them again. Yeah, it's like one of those winter meals, like when you're at home, you put make that and be really cosy. Yeah. I really liked it. No, it's not. I'm so I'm snuggling. Yeah. Finished yeah. Thank, Thank you. You've done very well there. Yeah. After being enjoyable. Yeah. Thank you. Really nice. So bring the main course on. What are your plans for this evening? Well, I'm going to eat this amazing meal, sip this amazing drink, and then hopefully maybe we'll find somewhere that just two for one cocktails. After all, this is Birmingham. Have one drink and then retire to bed, I think. Retire. Because <laughs> I am a bit of a grandma, so, you know. Yeah. For her what years, most definitely. Yeah, just drinks and then yeah. sofa. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Want to get nice and tipsy. Yep. As we do. So the talk of discussion today is when you watch this video, it will all be over with. But the talk of discussion today is who are you voting for? The general election. It's actually voting day today. Yeah. So I know you won't see this video till later, but. You know, make sure you vote it. I've already placed my vote at 11 o'clock this morning. Every vote counts, unfortunately. Yeah. We did have a, a slight difference of opinion earlier, Ryan, <laughs> but um, I managed to smooth that out with my persuasion skills. <laughs> I'm a very good influencer, you see, so I got that straightened out. We won't be talking about who and who we voted for. No. The, the right as vote was made. Private. But, you know, everybody should definitely vote. Whether you're young or old, you should vote. Your future depends on it. Yeah. So we're just waiting for the main courses now. As you can probably hear, the restaurant is busy and buzzing. So I just can't wait for these. Men. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Oh, it looks beautiful and delicate, it does, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh, I should have picked that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have any signs in it because the, the starter was quite filling. Yeah, that looks good. 
Yeah. So guys, our mains are here, so we're just gonna chow down and start eating. Yep. So we'll see you on the other side. Fun, happy tea. <laughs> So guys, we've just finished our mains here at Gusto. I had the burger, as you guys saw. It was really, really large, really, really tasty. I couldn't finish all of my fries because it's a lot. They had mozzarella inside the burger, pickles, a sweet burger relish, and some like burger mayonnaise at the side to go with your fries. It was a little tasty. Yeah. 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 What about you? I had um, chicken breast with creamed leeks and, and fried gnocchi. Absolutely delicious. Right amount of food on the plate and it was beautifully presented as well. It actually did look like delicious. It looked tasty. I can't fault it guys. Um, I'd say, yeah, I'd eat it again, but we're absolutely stuck. So we're probably going to wait like a few minutes or so before we even venture into the dessert world. Yeah, because we love our dessert, so yeah. we always try and make sure we have space for it. Like Tasha said, yeah. she did actually skip some of the chips to make sure she had space for the dessert. Yeah, so. that's the right thing to do. Most so, definitely. Yeah. It's a mantra of us. So <laughs> So we've got the dessert menu here. We're kind of thinking what to have for dessert. Now they've got loads of different options. They've got the normal dessert menu option. And then they've got the upper dessert menu option. Well, we're thinking on the upper dessert menu, I'm thinking if the donuts are freshly made, because they've got bombolini, which is homemade mini donuts, with chantilly cream, and chocolate sauce so if the donuts are like fresh like I mean fried fresh then I definitely consider having those or I saw the vanilla canna cotta and that sounds delicious also what are you thinking again? I like the sound of all three you know what I mean yeah so a bit stuff um last time we went out I had canna cotta so yeah. I'm like Try and sway away from having kind of yeah. again. So, although we are in like an Italian restaurant, so you know, Italians and panna cotta, could it be like amazing? You know, who knows? Well, then it's been a long while since I've had a good tiramisu, so and I'm not a fan of coffee desserts or chocolate desserts like that so tiramisu wouldn't be a good option for me but it looks lovely because I saw them bring one pass to somebody else and it actually looks lovely but I wouldn't enjoy it or well, there's always lemon sorbet <laughs> to, to refresh the palate and that's a no <laughs> So I'm thinking, guys, the mini donuts for me. I think. I knew you were gonna go for the donuts. Yeah. As soon as I saw the menu, I knew she was gonna no, go for the donuts. No, but if they're made like fried fresh, then I'm, I'm gonna go for them. Yeah. She's really predictable, you see. So most of the time, I'll be like, and you're going to have this, and I'm going to have that, and I'm usually, <laughs> I'm usually right, you see. So, aren't I? No. You're not psychic. Yeah, but I'm usually writing what you choose to have by looking. <laughs> Don't listen to her, she's lying. I usually know what she's gonna have. The truth comes out at night. No. I told her that she was going to have the donut and that's what she's actually trying yeah, to do. Yeah, she did today, but she's not right every time. Like. <laughs> I'm always right. <laughs> I'm not a bully, by the way. I'm just always right. Well, since she had the um, panna cotta before, she'll probably have the tiramisu because that might be up her street if it's done right. I do like a nice tiramisu, so I'll have a tiramisu today. So you'll just have to stay tuned and see what we actually eat, guys. Coming to America. I was done with barking my formal I love that, that film. film. I love that film. It never gets old, 
ever. Well, Beyonce just is coming um, to America for what party was it? Was it Halloween? Like the whole family did have come into America thing. Mm. And Blue had a little. She looked like, what's that? The one that he Oh, married. yeah. yeah. Um, Imani, the one that he yeah. didn't marry. Yeah. yeah. The one in the gold dress. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, that's a good film. <laughs> oh, my God. I know that film. Word for word. Oh, go on. I can't. No. Don't tell me to. Say you know, something. You know the bit. You know the bit where the woman's taking a shot in the bar. You're like, see, that's the problem. Now she's got a man that can say something. And then the um, boy, well, the boyfriend of the sister with all the Jerry curls. Yeah. And what was it, McDowell? <laughs> <laughs> the McDonald's ripper. Yeah, that was a, that was a good film. Oh, I like coming to America. The best hot chocolate. I do frog, <laughs> marshmallows, cream, dusting, syrup on top, marshmallows on top. Listen, my kiddies love it. She doesn't love have kids. She means niece my nieces and nephews. They absolutely love. Mine, hot chocolate, it's famous. So if any possible suitors are watching, know she's wife material, she can cook, she can make hot chocolate. What more do you want? I'm the real MVP. <laughs> <laughs> I think myself, I'm a natural born hustler. I got yeah. that hustle in my yeah. blood, so. These hands of work. <laughs> These hands have been places you don't want to know about. <laughs> no, that sounds crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's, let's scratch that. Let's scratch that out, yeah? That came out so wrong. It did, but it's said now. It's in the universe. It's in the strap. Well, then I walked past a shop called Daniel's, and it's like a wedding dress It was dress called suit. Davey. Oh. See? And it's like a wedding dress superstore. So you know, you couldn't help but look because it's huge. There's probably like maybe would you say a thousand wedding dresses in there? Easily. Yeah. Like a wedding dress superstore. So if you're actually getting married, it would be a great experience. Even if you couldn't afford to buy anything in there, it would be a lovely experience. I always keep telling her about this film that I love. It's called Muriel's Wedding. It's from the 90s and it's about this girl that does obsessed with getting married it. and she's never seen this film she's actually muriel from muriel's wedding she's she is her i said i'm gonna have to look up this film to watch because she said this more than a few times and i've never seen this film in my life never the only time it was on tv it was more or less finishing when i flicked the channel on so i've never seen it i might do that tonight please do my favourite line in, in the film is You're terrible Muriel It comes in a few times really? It's something that me and my sister always say you like if we've done something terrible Not something terrible yeah. but you know you're, like, you're terrible Muriel <laughs> <laughs> And you know you end up in fits of laughter <laughs> It sounds hilarious I think I'm going to have to I love um, it, I love it. it. Sounds hilarious. It's such a chick flick as well. Oh, I better get the popcorn. So, if Bruno Mars, if you happen to ever see our videos in like ever, just know we want another UK tour with that 24 karat magic album. Yes. Oh, there's been some great songs. What's your favourite song from the album? Calling on my lovely. And mine, I, I love I love the whole album, yeah. but calling them a love it, it's a so classy and song. Tricky, I do like it. It's one of those where you can do, you know, the two step to the yeah. left, to the right. You know, it's Let's just one of those albums. You could probably do like the um what's that song called? That one that they always play at weddings. Candy. Yeah. You could do that routine to that song. Mm. Yeah. Oh. 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 I'm talking about you. I'm talking about I'm thinking about ecstasy. I'm thinking about you. <laughs> this is like a classic. This is like, is it what group is this? I don't know. Is it? Some
something that like, not the temptations. No. Something old. Something old. Seventy. I do love my old school music. Yeah. I do love my. I love my old music. I do. Yeah. I'm like an old school. Head, I'm old but, school. But like Bruno Mars brought old school back with that album. Yeah. And my favourite really group did. of all time. Go on. All time. Jodeci. I love Jodeci. I've actually I'm met them as well. And, and, um, 112 was mine. Yeah. Pictures and cream. Mm -hmm. You taste so good to me. Now, what is this number in your pocket? I remember when you used to throw those things away. What is you want to keep in touch now? Who gave you a reason? Oh, and we actually saw them in concert with Joe, Genuine, yes. Tank, yes. and who else was it? Joe, Genuine, Tank, the ones well. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Yeah. I love, I love a bit of Joe. Let's stay home tonight. Oh, one of my fa favourite songs from Joe is... the good girl taken every time. And why do I keep falling for someone else? Every time I say hello, and they say my voice is going. <laughs> oh my god, my voice is going. I sound like a frog. This is what we do when you're waiting for dessert. You bring that old school back. See, this is full and happy. Yeah. Because no one wants to live life hungry. Hungry and angry. <laughs> no, I think when you're actually hungry, it does make you move it. Yeah. I don't know if it's been clinically proven, but it I think does. It, I think it's actually a thing. Yeah, it does. I'll agree there. But we're just nice at the moment. Not too full, not too empty, just nice. I'm going to sleep good tonight. <laughs> nice. Why am I still doing this? <laughs> <laughs> so our desserts have come guys. I'm going to show you. And here's mine to register. So we're about to eat this. It looks absolutely delicious. The only complaint I'm going to say is... What's this? Chocolate sauce. It's like hot chocolate. Yeah. I could actually drink that. Put a shot of Baileys in it and drink it as a nightcap. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side, guys. So, guys, we're here finished at Gusto's. We had a great meal. Our desserts were really amazing. We didn't talk too much about the desserts because we were just obviously stuffing our faces. As you I had <laughs> the donuts. And like I showed you, that sauce, mm, I don't know what they were doing with that sauce. But the donuts were quite nice. Um, they were just did with sugar. And you had the... I had the tiramisu, which was really nice, light and spongy. And didn't leave too much of a heavy aftertaste with the rest of the meal. So I am pleasantly satisfied with the whole meal today and our waiter Sebastian yeah was absolutely fabulous as well lovely guy yeah he was brilliant very knowledgeable giving us a bit of talk about the food at the end we had a nice little chat about champagne and Prosecco so the night's still young so we're finished here guys and thanks for watching see you on the next one bye stay bougie <sighs> and we're here we're gonna have a little. <laughs> we're not. We're we're not. I don't know about you, but I'm not. I'm just walking off my meal, burning off a few calories. I'm just trying, I'm trying not to get, not get knocked get, over. I was say, try not to get run over by a bus. Can you imagine that, though? That really? Would be hilarious, I would not be scooping you up off the floor. Well, at least I would have had a decent last meal. What last supper? Yeah. About to be and put in the electric chair. What's your last meal request? <laughs> jerk chicken, jerk pork, festival, rice and peas, coleslaw, planting, extra oh. planting, oh. Um, apple crumble. Um, Can that list get any longer? Cake, black cake, you know, like wedding well, cake. With rum in. Yeah, rum cake. <laughs> um, <laughs> rum punch. <laughs> Some fizz. Oh.
house. I don't even think you'd have room for all that. You'd take a bite of everything. Besides yeah, stuff. I probably would. Because I know I'd be stuffed. So here we are. We are in Pigeon Park, Birmingham. What's it called? Pigeon? It's not called Pigeon Park, is it? I think it is called Pigeon Park. I'm sure that's what I call it. Maybe that's not. But well, she calls name. this Pigeon Park, which is right opposite Gusto. Yeah. And we're walking through it, and thankfully enough, there are no pigeons about. <laughs> so I hate the bastard. I just, hate pigeons. Just a huge church. Yeah. Here we are at the church. We're so. going to the chapel and we're gonna, gonna get, get married. <laughs> <laughs> this can be in our outtakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we've got a few drunks. Shall we go in today in the drunks? Oh, God, no. <laughs> you don't want to get your phone stolen. Yeah, there's a few park benches around at the moment. Funny enough, it's always the weird ones that I tend to attract. I never attract anybody normal. That's true. That must say a lot about your personality. <laughs> I, I, I am a shining beacon of light. <laughs> for those who are not shining beacons i can oh, only no, take that's not right there might be shining beacons in the yeah in hot yeah the derailed no, derailed and you know they see me as somebody that can as show them what? the way <laughs> oh, this like a second. Let me sister. Just... i don't know <laughs> the men just tend to ask me for a bit of change well, she... <laughs> after a few nice words, oh, you got 50p, love. I know, you always see the druggies or the drunks. Oh, have you got 10p, Bob? I'm starving. <laughs> 